What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another what's in the box video for you. Today we're working with the Revell 125th scale Kenworth W900 Aerodyne without trailer. This was a uh, Hobby Lobby 40% off purchase that made it, I don't know, 17 bucks, something like that, which, uh, good score, good score. Um, this will be part of an upcoming project that I'm working on. Um, uh, I figured since I'm going to get started on that, I might as well open this and see what's inside of it. The project, we'll pull it off the side for a moment. You heard me talking about it. I'm going to make a dealership delivery. I'm going to take this transport. supposed to be a decent kit it's uh i've done an unboxing on it i've seen a couple of youtubers build it it's pretty basic you know it's not a whole lot to it it's basically ramps and a frame uh, i've heard from a friend that put his together that the hardest part was running the the air lines the air hoses so i don't know we'll see so the idea is that these two the truck and trailer will be loaded New Dotsons on their way to the dealership. Huh? Got a couple trucks. Got, got a 510. We've got three um, Z cars a 240, a 280Z, and a 280ZX. And um, the decals that came with this 280. Camera's not going to pick that up. I'll try to reflect it so that maybe it does that's a Datsun Nissan company. So those will go on the big banner on the side of the tractor, or the trailer, excuse me, to indicate that it's, you know, a dealership, dealership car. So all that said, to get into this kit, which I've uh, only built, I haven't really built a semi. I've done, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, again, someone told me that this is a decent kit, you know, it's hobby like it, so I couldn't beat the price. Um, we'll crack the seal on this and take a look. I'm sure throughout this unboxing I will be saying a lot of parts. This is a part? I don't know if that's a part, because I don't really know. Don't know much about semis. Not a whole lot here. Uh, not as much as one of the other semis I have in my stash that... To be honest, it's kind of intimidating. <laughs> uh, typical Revell instructions. Nice crisp drawings indicating where things go, which should be helpful for putting this thing together. Really nice decal sheet with some <laughs> lightning. So, whatever, neat. There's a American flag. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, cool. Nice, good looking decals. Anything for the dashboard? No. But, oof. Let's, uh, where, where do we start? That's not too many parts. Let's get these out of the way. Just a bag full of tires. So we've got how many? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Eesh. Wow, that's a lot of cars. Uh, no name. You know, whatever. I mean, semi trucks usually don't have names on their tires, from what I know. Again, don't know a lot about them. Not a big semi truck builder, but. Uh, from what I've heard, this is a decent kit. It's a newish Revell, so it shouldn't have, I shouldn't have too many problems. Solid piece cab. That'll probably make the assembly nice. <laughs> Good details. It's got some uh, 
rivet along the sides on the like where the door is and the access door for the sleeper which that's cool it's got a window that you can see inside it's nice when they do stuff like that you know it's no shame to detail something and not be able to see it like most band kits so that's cool like the nose which you can see it's got, a, it's got an easy breezy hinge on it so that should be nice to be able to make that actually flip forward oh, it fits really well too okay cool 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 so I figured I'd get this and the track or the trailer out of the way and that will uh, that'll take up some of the work. It's like fuel tanks, um, mud flaps, nice diamond diamond plate texture. So those will look really good painted up in aluminum or a steel metal metal flavor. And then the last white plastic bag, which looks like frame and suspension and engine nice uh, oh very cool okay I, I do remember the trailer that I built uh, I'll put a picture up here it was a it was part of a I don't know whatever it was a garage sale kit that I took apart and repurposed to make a transport hauler race team Porsche race team it was not a single piece frame like this is one solid piece, it's got axle or uh, leaf springs molded in. Looks like putting this together is probably going to be a, a little nicer. The other one was, oh, it was kind of a bear. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember like this part of putting the axles and the airbags and the suspension all together. It took some doing to keep it straight ish. <laughs> then your interior that. You know, again, you can see in the window, you can see the bed. So you can put some details up there, put some uh, some magazines, if you will. <laughs> you know, litter it with, like, you know, beer cans and uh, apple juice jugs. <laughs> Pee bombs. More mud flaps. Big old steering wheel. Uh, more axles. and Oh, yeah, this also was a real pain in the other kit that I did. I think it was an AMT, uh, I'll have to look, but I remember it was, it was not fun. It was a real drag. And it had already been put together. I mean, I just kind of stripped it and started over. Huge, huge motor with some really nice details. It's got wiring already. Again, parts. Don't know anything about semis, except they're really big. <laughs> Good detail on the seats. Got a, like a diamond to it. The dashboard cluster. Oof, that's going to be some toothpick painting there. But that's cool. You know, you don't see a whole lot of it. Once it goes in there, once it goes in the cab, and it's at such an angle that... You really can't see a whole lot of it anyway, so it gives you a, it kind of hides the crimes, as, uh, as Mr. Savage says. Adam Savage. If you don't know who that is, I don't know what to tell you. Let's just pop both these bags open, get the plastic out of the way to look at the plastic. The glass portion, the sleeper window, window. Nice, uh, nice portion to have it glued in, so it, it, you know you're gonna gonna get ugly marks. Looks to be in good shape. I mean, it's in a bag, so why wouldn't it be? And that huge chrome grill. That's a decent looking chrome. I might use that as is. That actually looks good with some black wash in there. Same with the wheels, put a little black wash on there to give it some road age. Um, it's like your side mirrors and handles. Again, th this, uh, from what I know from building the other one, that's going to be a big help when it comes time to put it together. 
these, since they have to be glued together, will be stripped and painted because the glue just discolors the chrome and makes it look not real. Same with the pipes and the heat shields. Those will be glued together, or they'll be stripped, glued together, and then repainted in a, in a different chrome. I have a chrome rattle can that comes out pretty nice. But the bumper and the grill and other stuff, that, that actually looks pretty good. Their chrome looks pretty decent. So, that about does it for the what's in the box of the Kenworth W900 Aerodyne well kit. Uh, relatively new. Actually, I don't know that. It might be an old kit. I, I don't know. I didn't look on scale mates. But, cool. Looking forward to it. It should be fun. Get this, uh, get this Datsun project underway. Hope you liked it. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that kind of horror talk to you. See you in the next one.